Retinas from Old Staples Crafts again. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, today I'm continuing with showing you my customer gifts for those people who shopped with me in January. Um, and they are going to be the lucky recipients of, I hope they feel they're lucky, of a little notebook. I always think they're useful to have um, little handbag size notebooks. Um, I get these from a local stationer's. Um, and I just cut off the front cover and yeah I use these a lot because they're great so um, I thought I would show you how I uh, cover these um, now I will give you the measurements for these ones but um, it's one of those you kind of have to start with the notebook and work from there um, and all those these are um, produced obviously in mass production they're never quite the same size every time um, so yeah you do need to make sure that you do measure your notebook um, but it's very it's a very basic um, science not really science at all uh, so all I do is with my ruler I measure across the uh, the notebook and this is three and a quarter in you know round money uh, by uh, let's see uh, about four. I do like it to be the front to measure slightly longer than the... Uh, actually, this is probably a better one. Um, I don't know if you can see on that. Possibly see. Uh, I like to have a little bit of a lip, but not too much, otherwise it catches in your handbag. Um, so I'm measuring this as four inches, although it's actually slightly under. Now in centimetres, for those of you who work in this newfangled metric system. Uh, they are 10 centimetres by uh, eight and a quarter, slightly over eight and a quarter. Um, so I have cut my rich old Razzleberry cardstock and I'm using rich Razzleberry A because it goes with the stamping that I've done on my um, thank you in cards that I'm sending them, uh, but also because it goes with the designer series paper. Um, which is the Painted with Love Specialty Designer Series Paper. If you saw the cut, the video I did on the card, uh, this is all I've got left of my second packet. Um, and I've got a lot more to do, so hopefully um, I'll have enough. Um, anyway, so this is three and a quarter wide by five and five, five and one eighth long. Um, and that's so that I've got, mine happen to be about a quarter of an inch deep. Um, and I like to have the, the card coming a wee bit down at the back. Um, but all I will do when I come to do the dimensions is uh, write up how I measure, um, because as I say, it really is dependent on the size of the notebook. Um, and if you work from my dimensions and you've got a different size notebook, that's not terribly helpful. So I will, in my blog, which is linked below, I will explain how I do the measurements. Um, Sorry, my brain really isn't right still after having had flu last week. Um, it wasn't helped by the fact I had food poisoning the week before. There we go, I'm just lucky. Um, so, using my scoreboard and my um, cardstock, which as I say is three and a quarter by five and one eighth, with the five and one eighth at the top, so with the long side at the top, I'm going to score at four because that will give me the depth that I need for my notebook. And you can, you know, just see that that's right. Um, and then, as I say, I know, because I've measured it, that this is about a quarter of an inch, near enough. So I'm then going to score it again at four and a quarter. So that's all the scoring that needs to be done. It's as simple as that. And then I'm just going to burnish those score lines. I'm not going to go mad, I don't need them to be, you know, crisp, 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 just right is fine. And then I'm going to use tear and tape. Now, I think tear and tape is perfect for this because you've got a little more control over what you're doing. Um, Say, so I've, I've cut the flap, which had the tacky piece of paper, um, and I've literally just taken the tacky piece of paper off the front, and then I'm running a piece of tear and tape across the front there and just snip that off can you see what I'm doing more or less and then everything else is going to be a question of gluing or putting adhesive on the card 
and I'm running a piece of the tear and tape on the score lines or between the score lines so this is the four and the four and a quarter inch score lines and then another couple of strips for the flap that will go across the back. Now you can just tear it, I'm just because I want these to be properly neatly um, at the at the edge um, I'm I'm using snips. Right, so it's going to go together there. So what I tend to do is take off the one piece from the front and then just line it up on that edge there and then there we go and then just remove the last two last strips of tape and and then just burnish that down so that it's well glued and then I've got a piece of designer series paper um, and I say it's not all of all hearts there's some lovely um, you know just abstract areas um, patterns sorry brain brain f oh. I really it's it's doing my head in the fact that my brain is is just not quite with us still um, anyway fast fuse um, and although I normally when I'm doing cards at the moment go through I'm going through a phase of putting the fast fuse onto the card base because I want to make sure that as this is going to be going in and out of a, um, a handbag I want to make sure that the um, the tape the fast fuse is right to the edge and I'll pop a bit down the middle as well so I am making sure that I put it on the the piece of paper and then I know that I've got an eighth of an inch all round so if I do three sides then the fourth will just fall into place so that's the basic book and then I have used let me grab them the lovely word thin dies and which are in the annual catalogue uh, and you get um, a circle with hugs um, an oval with friend and then a heart with lovely and the they uh, match up to the um, layering ovals layering circles and the what do they call them sweet and sassy um, heart framelit dies they also the oval and the circle also uh, match up with the stitched shape framelits so the friend excuse me I'm gonna have to cough <coughs> Uh, the friend, no, not the friend, lovely, um, to get this size frame, uh, it nests with the largest of the straight um, hearts. So just pop those together, you can see that's fine. Um, if you go to the next one down, it's very, very, very narrow little strip. Um, so, yeah. So I have already run through on my big shot uh, the lovely with some gold um, gold foil and I've backed that with the uh, Sizzig, the um, uh, multi-purpose adhesive um, the sheets um, which these lovely 12 by 6 sheets this is my first pack and I use it quite a lot and I cannot believe how far it's going um, and all you do is put it on the back of your card and it, then it makes it into a sticker. Um, so for fiddly bits like this, um, it's perfect because it just becomes a sticker. So all I've got to do now is turn my sticker over and remove the backing. And then pop my sticker onto the front of my notebook 
And then what I tend to do, just to make sure that everything is absolutely properly stuck down, is just run my bone folder over the top so that that is properly stuck. And then I can add it to the pile of others that I have already done. I've got a few more to do, um, but I always like to start with a, a sort of a, a few and then work from there. So if you want to cover your own notebook, now you know how. Um, and if you would like to be one of the lucky recipients of one of my regular uh, customer gifts, um, all you have to do is shop with me. Uh, whatever size order, be it um, ten pound order, be it a two hundred pound order, everyone will get a standard customer gift. Um, and then if you use the hostess code, um, you will also get a share in the hostess rewards. Um, it's my way of saying thank you. Um, but yes, everyone gets the the um, thank you gift. Um, I it, it, to me, it doesn't matter how big the order is. Uh, it may be that you struggle to find ten pounds to order. Um, it may be that you don't have to struggle to order two hundred pounds. So I think everyone should should get the same benefit. Um, that was a real waffle, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry, the, the lighting's gone a bit do lally. It was it was bright and sunny when I started filming earlier today, um, and now the sun's gone in, um, and it's only two o'clock. Anyway. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Um, just a quick reminder, I'm doing a giveaway um, for anyone in the UK who is not a demonstrator, um, who has not yet signed up to my mailing list. If you, my, and that's my newsletter, um, where you get all the, all the gen on what's going on. Um, uh, there's a link on my Facebook business page. Um, where you can just, there's a button there that you can just sign up or on my blog, which there's the link to that is immediately below. Just fill in the, and it's the newsletter mailing list um, sign up you want. Um, if you want a catalogue, there's also a sign up form for that on my blog. Um, and obviously if you want to place an order, that would be lovely. Do remember during celebration that every 45 pounds you spend, you get to pick something from the celebration mini uh, catalogue. Um, so yeah, spend money, get free stuff. Wonderful. Um, so thank you very much indeed. I will see you again very soon, I hope. Bye.